my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Oh my goodness, can you die twice? <laughs> I have been <clears throat> just, <sighs> it has been kicking my butt. My last video, I mentioned that I ended up with COVID. My husband ended up with COVID and my son wasn't feeling well either. So <clears throat> long story short, we're kind of on the mat. <laughs> but I am so exhausted and I'm back to work. So it's like I come home from work, I sit in the chair and I'm out my day off. I was out the whole day. We've had a snowstorm, so I've had to shovel that. Um, my son, I drove him back to Barry, So he is now not at home. So I have to do all the shoveling. So anyways, it is what it is. Life happens. I apologize for not having a video. This video has been, hmm, sitting here for a little bit because I did it kind of right away but I never did an end and never did a beginning so here it is my friends I am so sorry for it being this long I've been struggling for a little bit as you already know um, with managing all my videos I used to I, I was avid three videos a week I did a painting video on Wednesdays I would always do a resin video on Fridays and Sundays was bling bling day with a crown i have just been so overwhelmed with uh, basically working full time and all that fun stuff so i'm gonna have to find a happy medium because i was burning myself out i would get up at 4 a.m to because i'm a i'm a morning person so i would get up at 4 a.m do a video go to work come home clean cook supper do dishes whatever and then start it all over again and i was just finding especially with through the summer I my husband lives at our trailer so I would have to drive an hour on my days off just to go back and forth to make sure he had everything as well so it's just everything finally I think came to an end because <laughs> you can only burn it from both ends for so long before it comes to the <laughs> center so I'm gonna have to find a happy medium guys and we have so many new people here um, I just want to express I do normally post more but hopefully we're on the mend i'm still just exhaustedly tired so i'm down here today i'm off for five days oh my god five days so i'm going to attempt to try to get a few things in here in in those five days so that when i'm at work i'm not so worried about doing a video for you guys so today i'm excited it actually it worked i'm going to give you a heads up because i know how the ending went it worked so I had made this amazing light. Um, I can link the video. It is adorable. I put like oh, crystal leaves all over it. You know how it is, right? But I wanted to keep it neutral. And then in my brain, I thought with the base, I would love to do a bloom. I've done blooms for a few years. Check back on my coaster videos. I've been doing them for quite a while, so I'm not new to them. I know how they work. So. But I forgot that when I did this video, this is still gorgeous. Turned out beautiful. I always back all mine with glitter, my friends, so that you get that double, double beauty. But because of the shape, I'm gonna hold this up. And I, I apologize if it's in the next segment, but I, I, I'm gonna tell it anyways. Because of the shape of this mold, it is not um, flat like this mold is flat right the surface is flat this one is concaved it's got texture so the reason why the bloom didn't work is because it kept going in with all of those grooves so my thoughts in this video today we are going to lay a base of resin up till that line because that's where all of the funky concave stuff ends and then I'm gonna do a bloom on top so I'm excited and while we're at it this amazing tray we're gonna add a layer of resin to top coat it so get a coffee get some snacks and I am glad that you all stuck with me and the comments I I'm overwhelmed by the amazing support from you guys. So love you guys to death. So anyways, 
I'm going to get my stuff together and I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Bye. Okay, I am back. I have mixed up. I decided to do six ounces because I wasn't sure how much this little guy is going to take. So <clears throat> I'm going to pour just a little to cover this and then the rest I'm going to pour into this. I'm just going to pick it up because I don't want to I don't want to touch the um, the tattoo at all and I just kind of want to bring it to the edge and that's it bring it to the edge I should have done this in yesterday's video, but I was so excited about getting one out for you guys because I have been <gasps> away. It seems like I've been away. I kept saying to my husband, oh my goodness, I have to make a video. All right, almost. And like I said, it does not have to be a very big coat, just enough to cover that tattoo. And there we go. So now what I'm going to do is lay it back. And because I'm not worried about ruining a mold, I'm going to grab my little torch and get rid of all these little bubbles. something in there or do I need to let a little more on here there we go and what I'm gonna do I have my heating mat out to do this but I'm not gonna leave this on the heating mat it doesn't need to be there and I don't want to to heat up the resin that's already cured as well. There we go. Crystal clear. All right, so now all I'm doing is dumping in here. Hopefully, let me just bring her in there. Make sure it's level, my friends, especially with this method because I want to do um, a second layer. I want it to be even and let's go. Here we go, here we go. Perfect. Now that is level and I still have about two ounces left. So what I might do is, ooh, let's try a bloom in this tray. Being that I've, you know, have it already here. I got a tray, excuse me guys. I'm just going to let that sit too to, to get rid of the bubbles. No, maybe. Oh, I don't know what to do. Because I can put more in there. It'll just be less later. No, I can't because I need to put a second layer on there. So I'm just going to find something to put that in. And with that being said, I will get rid of some bubbles. I know I don't want to use this in here, but I'm just going to go really quick. I'm not going anywhere near. And then I'm going to come in with my 99% alcohol and give it a burst of... I'm going to do the same on this one. just want to make sure I got enough coating this guy. Because if I... If 
Perfect. One more spritz. There we go. All right. So I'm going to leave this here. <clears throat> I'm going to find something for that. I can't believe I put that much extra. And I'll see you guys once this is all cured so we can put another thin layer of clear and then we'll do our bloom. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I decided to clean out one of my new trays. I put clear down, so it is basically right to the level of, um, right, oh, sorry, uh, where are you? About to the level of where the rim is. So it is gonna be an even coat. So then I figured we would do another tattoo on that and then do a back when we do the back for that. So you're getting two bonus videos this week. You're getting a couple of things and I'm using my tent. Thank you, Sandra, to cover up my um, resin so it doesn't get any dirt or dust on there. All right, I'll see you guys when it's cured. Okay, I am back. I am gonna set this aside. This is nice and cured. So we're gonna come back. We'll do the bloom on this in just a couple of seconds. But with the extra one, I wanted to just do this. I am ecstatic. So this is another one of those tattoos. I ended up cutting this off the end and this little bit here to make it fit. It's clear resin, so this time we will not have to do a top coat. So, in my crazy little brain, and this is from the same kit, so I will link that in the description box. So, <clears throat> in my little brain, I thought I would do some more of the, the holographic glitter. This one is called Pink. How convenient. It is called Pink. So I'm going to put it on and I'm just going to go around the edges and maybe bring it in just a little bit, but not too much. I just want to make sure you're all in there. So we're going to kind of do the edge of where, like the edging here. and then bring it in. It might not work actually on the resin. Hmm. Let's see here. And I'm hoping you're in focus. If not, I apologize guys. These are so pretty, these colors. All right, so there we go. Now, from what I'm seeing, it is not sticking at all to the resin. So, what I'm gonna do is attempt to Take it off with some tape off the center, which works out better anyways, because I think if it did stick, then I'd have to take part of it off anyways, because of the, I'm just making this in a circle. Ooh. Actually, it's probably easier to do it with a paper towel because for some reason when it's not coming off on the tape. So I'm just gonna get a piece of paper towel and just kind of wipe out the center part. And there's little bits here and there, that's fine. I just wanna make sure it's completely covered on the edge. <gasps> no, that's too funny. 
let's do it this this way so I don't get the glitter off on everything else. And I figured I would do some light pink. So again, there's glitter on there. I'm not too worried. So we need to take off this film. Make sure you're in there. This is our center point, which will put this center um, butterfly. And I'm hoping that's right. There we go. And then the resin I'm going to put in this is pink. I'm going to attempt to do like a light shade of pink. So we're going to do this again with the paper towel. Yes, I can probably get a sponge of some sorts. Um, but I wanted to control the water a little better. So I've just got my water, a cup of water here. Just gonna dampen it all. Get the good smoochy smoochy. All those technical words that I'm gonna use here. squishing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And let's see if we got some lift off. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Awesome. And then now I'm just going to take the same sponge, or even though it's a paper towel, and try and dab in everything. Make sure there's no bubbles. You want to be careful because it is still sticky. You don't want to rub too hard or pat too hard and pull up some of that. So there we go. Where are you? There you go. I think that one's pretty. All right, so we're going to let that dry because we don't want no water going into our resin. And I'm disappointed that this didn't stick to the, to the resin, but it is what it is. Um, so I will do a coat... Um, we're going to pick out some lovely pale pink. Um, let's see if we got some in here. Hmm, let's do... I'm going to mix up again. So we're going to do some of the, the white. Actually, I have the white from... I'm going to use to do the bloom. And I may add some pink into that. Let's do... Maybe even like this rose. That's red. Hmm. Well, we'll try this pink out of this kit. So we'll do that. I'm going to use the white, which would be from um, Lorez, my angel white. So now, again, my resin is up in my kitchen sink. I'm going to go grab it. Um, as I'm mixing my resin, guys, I'm going to say this each and every time I'm using my respirator. When I come back, I'm choosing not to use that. And I will be showing you everything in the video without a mask on. But please use your PPE and I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my resin. I'll see you in a second, guys. Okay, I am back. I have mixed up six ounces of resin. So in my bloom, I'm going to use my... Let's Resin. These ones are the metallic alcohol inks. 
Okay, so I have picked out three. We are doing one that is called rose gold, one that is called olive gold, and then this one is called purplish red. So we're going to use these as the three colors. And I hope it works this time. So all I'm doing is going to put down a little bit of base here. And again, to do these blooms, it does not have to be a very thick base either. So just putting that out there. Now with this, I am going to put in my, this is my Angel White, my very distressed looking uh, container. I am Messy Marvin, so it is from Lares, it is Angel White. And I'm going to get another stick. And I am just going to give this a stir. And we're going to shake off what I can. And that's it. I'm going to switch. I hate putting color in this, guys, but you know how it is. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm just going to put. Uh, whoops, this here down. So I got a piece of paper a wet paper I can put my stuff on and I'm just going to mix this up. Oh, that's nut. I need more because that is still quite transparent. So let me, here, I'm just gonna use this stick. I'm just dunking in. I'm just putting a little bit more in because there's more resin than what I normally use. Again, I've always used, when I initially started doing these, I always use Casting Craft Opaque Pigment White. And when I would use it, I'm just kind of scraping off these, off of the two sticks. When I would use the Ocrastic Casting Craft Opaque Pigment White, it comes in drops, like, like the alcohol ink, so it, I was able to count. There, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in to my piping bag. And I'm not gonna do a lot in the piping bag because we don't have a big area to do. So what I have left, I'll put back in the container and we're gonna pour it in here. I'm gonna get rid of that. Yes, I'm going to get rid of this stick. I'm going to wipe this one off so it's not sitting here getting all gooey and gooey. All right, let's try and do... I'm not going to put any alcohol in there. I'm trying to find my little wee torch. I pop some of these bubbles that are here. And I see I have... A piece of fluff fluff. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna do, let's go right in the middle. I hope these spread out and oh my goodness, they're not cut. Okay. All right, so there's the red. Yes. tip off over top my garbage pail actually let's do one more here 
and then we'll do oh, come on I took the time and when I got all these I thought I opened up oh my goodness what is with that There, I see it's coming. <gasps> well, I guess it's there. <laughs> oh, go figure. And this last little one. We'll do green on the outside just to see what it looks like. away from the ink sherry put the lids on these <laughs> all right there's a lot in there at least they bloom it um, it spread out so that's good so now I am cutting off the end I've put it in a baggie I'm cutting the end off get all that excess junk that we don't need and I am cutting as small as I can because you do not want it to be a huge hole because you can always <laughs> put more instead of taking off okay so I'm just gonna go around in circles if I can get a hold of this the right way and here we go. done. I'm going to squeeze that back into my container and then I'm going to add a little bit of pink to it and we'll put that into our there. Empty. Now let's do some playing. Where is my little oh there it is. I wanted the pointy one. So this is one of my um, silicone tipped paint brushes. So what I'm going to do is center out <clears throat> in the corners. And I'm just going to take this a little bit and try to just bring it in and around there and I'm going to leave it. So that's that. I'm excited because I think this is going to turn out now. So with that, I'm going to come back and I will probably put <clears throat> a nice layer of like a light pink maybe with some glitter in the back so that you can get the same kind of effect like this. Look at that, I got the alcohol ink all over everything. The same effect you had with this, with the coming through. Oh my goodness, I'm not paying attention. 
because the glitter shines through. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Hopefully it'll work. Now, this, I've noticed there is a couple of drops of the alcohol ink. So I'm going to get um, one of these and just try to just kind of wipe it off. There we go. Now, with this one, I was de I'm debating, so I'm going to probably use this. This is from Laura's Art Corner. It is called Coral Peony. And I'm going to add this to the white. Look how pretty that is. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. Because I just want to, I want it to be like pale pink. Ah, I think that is exactly what we want. Look at that. So I'm going to keep mixing it until it mixes in. Perfect. Now I'm just going to pour that on here. And now, because we have layered on the top part, we do not have to seal our beautiful tattoo. Oh my, look at that. Just enough. All right, that's gorgeous. So that's the peony with the white. That is beautiful. All right, so now I am going to give this just a little torch. And then I'm going to come in with my alcohol. I do not want to touch this with alcohol. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put something on top, paper towel maybe, just to cover it while I spray the alcohol onto. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to do that either. Let's just do this because I don't want to touch it. Get this going first. Oh my goodness, Sherry. There we go. Because once you don't want to put, because it's got alcohol ink in there, you don't want to put this in there because it'll do weird stuff to it. And you'll wonder why it didn't turn out. So, so with that, I'm going to put on my beautiful tent for my food storage tent thingy dingy. Cover up my pieces so they don't have any dust particles in there. And I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Okay, I am back. I am so excited and I can't look at it yet because if you take out the, this out of the mold and put it back in to do a top coat um, you will run the risk of it leaking in here and then all of the color is going to go on the front so I'm not going to be able to see it so patience is a virtue I don't have very many patience so anyways I mixed up another four ounces of resin and I'm going to add to it. This is, I butcher it every time. I'm trying to read it in a different language. It's Pigmente per Artiste. It is rose gold. This is from Laura's Art Corner. So I'm going to add a nice heaping scoop of that because I don't want it to be see-through. I want it to be, so we're going to do two scoops of that.
And yes, I'm putting it in my good container. You want to make sure it's completely mixed in. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's so pretty, guys. And to that, I am adding some glitter. So this is, again, from Laura's Art Corner. This is Pink Dazzle. You ready? Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> so I'm just going to get a bigger spoon because, you know, we've got to put a little bit more glitter than give it a stir because this has got chunky and fine. And we're going to do one and a half oh, of glitter. And the good thing is with this, because the glitter always sinks to the bottom, my friends, the bottom's going to be against this. So it will shine through. Look at that. So freaking stunning. Again, Laura, I say you had me at hello. You had me at glitter. All right, here we go. We're just going to pour that on there. And I think that goes nice with the colors that are already in from the alcohol inks. There, I think that is perfect. Look at that, oh my goodness, guys. I don't want to fill it too full, um, so I'm going to take this little wee guy, do a quick little torch, look at that sparkle, and we're going to do a good couple spritz with this, and we will unveil this at the same time. Look at it move. It's like it's got its own life. It's cool. So I'm going to find something to put this in. And I will see you guys when it's cured. I'll see you in a bit. Back to work today. I have to work today after a week and a half. Oh my goodness. It's going to be fun. All right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, I am back. I had cannot wait. All right, so this is what I did with the leftovers. I used them with... Um, Julie's Puffy Hearts. Awesome. Awesome. That's such pretty. That glitter is amazing, Laura. Awesome. Now, let's get at this. I'm so excited. All right. Oh, it looked like it worked, guys. Okay, did it work? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness. That turned out amazing. You can see the glitter in behind. Awesome. I know it's kind of hard to see with all of that shining off of my studio lights, but that is beautiful. So I'm going to put that on. Plug my little light in. <gasps> Look at that. So if you want to see how I made the whole lamp, go in and I will link the video but that is stunning I'll take better pictures upstairs that is freaking cool I am impressed okay let's look at this let's see how this other one turned out well it's not as beautiful as the other one let me see here move this out of the way but it is still quite pretty you lost all of the <laughs> all of that um, if I did it again, I would do the same as I did with the gold one. I would come across and put my glitter all in here. Then I would do my thin layer 
but it's still quite pretty. It's kind of plain, but it's pretty. And I've got some air bubbles in there. Go figure. Well, there you go. It was extra resin, so that's all right. So yes, I am impressed with my stand. That is gorgeous. So with that, my beautiful people, I am going to do my little spiel and I will go upstairs and take some better pictures. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and more than half of you are not subscribed. I'm going to keep saying this, so please, please think about subscribing. It will help my YouTube channel out amazing. And hit that bell up there for notifications. So the next time I do a video, you will be notified. And also hit that bell. Sorry, and give it a share if you like it. And here goes my spiel. I love promoting my sponsors, so here we go. So in the description box, I will have the links to everything I used here today. Also, I have the links to where to purchase Triart Liquid Glass. I have the links to where to purchase uh, molds and shapes molds. I have the link to where to purchase Julie Cuts molds. I also have the links to crystal resin, which we used here today. And my discount code for crystal resin is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I also have the links to Let's Resin, which we use the alcohol inks and the glitter here today. And my discount code for Let's Resin is Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. And I also have my two amazing Lores distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. She has much, much more than Lores. And my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten. 10, capital S, capital M, and the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, which we use the glitters here today. These amazing glitters. And um, my glitter guru, go check out her website. Um, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10%. And with that, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. But stay tuned, I'm going to show you a nicer picture of this upstairs. Love you guys. Have a great day. Okay, guys, I brought it up into my light box I purchased. This is so pretty. I am so excited on how it turned out. Like, look at the dimension in that. I'm hoping it's focusing because, like, look at that. It is freaking amazing. And a lot of people question about why I put glitter on the back. It just gives that little extra, like you can see it popping through little bits and pieces. And then look at the sides. It is just so freaking amazing. And then look at that back. Laura, you had me at glitter, my lovely friend. Crazy. So the three bases is awesome. This is not what I wanted, but I do like that. I'll link this video in the description box. And again, I, like I said, every one of my, when I did my bloom coasters, every one of them, I put a backing and plain Jane, but plain Jane is really pretty as well with that amazing powders in there. And I'm going to show you a quick, I don't know if I showed it downstairs, um, the beautiful top coat on this amazing tray, gorgeous, no sticky anymore. And here I'll just set that back there and also I was so disappointed with this one um, I love the premise that you put here I'll put it this way so you can see it better I love the premise that you can put a thin coat of resin but what I should have done is this gorgeous glitters that didn't get picked up at the top was because I layered the resin first so what I should do next time I will put all of my glitter around the edging and a little bit into here like I did with this one I'll do it a little bit in in around and then pour my thin layer of resin and then that way you will get the glitter all the way around so 
there's another video coming soon with the same idea. Um, yes. And I'm not sure if I showed. There's the amazing little puffy heart. I love Julia's mold. Julie mold. Julie's mold from Pour Your Heart Out. Cute little molds. So, anyways, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I apologize about not having a video. I am just been, oh, like I had to redo my intro because this video has been sitting here for a bit and I just, I haven't had the umph to get it done. And I apologize, my friends. So with that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me see if I can put my little light back in here and see if we can get one last little, look at that. It is just so cute. Very cute. Now the only other thing I might do is if I did another one like this, um, I would put those colors in this part of the um, handle, which is cute. So with that, my beautiful people, I will see you in the next one. I love you all tremendously and bye-bye.